This is your gentle bar where it's super low impact, but it's going to still strengthen your core, your legs, and your arms, and we'll finish off with some nice stretches. You don't need any equipment at all. Let's get started. Let's begin here on our mat, seated, and take a nice stretch over to the side. Inhale in. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale. And exhale. Getting into your body. So this will be a nice, beautiful, stretching type of gentle, but sculpting bar workout. So we'll move nice and slow. And it'll be a chance for you to really connect with your body. Maybe you're just getting back into working out or you just haven't done any bar before. So this is a perfect routine for you. And I promise you'll still feel a nice challenge. All right, let's stretch over to the side, hold here. And then we're gonna fold forward, reach over that leg. Feel the nice stretch on the side body. And then come on up back to center other side nice stretch over to this side one breath here exhale reach forward and then roll on up beautiful okay so we are going to start with some core right here and we're gonna start with a cat cow so hands are gonna come behind the thighs like this now I want you to lift the chest up arch the back stick your chest out like this and release the head back and then on your way back you're going to reverse everything and you're going to pull the chin in towards your chest round the back round the shoulders forward and then pull the core in really tight belly button to spine so let's do that again inhale in oh the sun is coming out let the sun shine all over you you can pretend you're out here with me inhale in Exhale, release. Inhale, lift up the heart, open it up towards the sky. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale and feel every little vertebrae reaching up towards the sky. And then feel every vertebrae opening as we curve back. Nice. Now I want you to stay here, pull the lower abs in, draw the shoulders down a bit. Lift the chin up, but stay in this nice C-curve position right here. And you're just gonna extend one arm and then extend the other. Let's just do a little pulse back and forward, back and forward, just getting right into that core. Lower belly pulls in. And I want you to focus on your positioning here. Feet are flat down on the ground. Knees are parallel to one another. Good. Now we're gonna hold here, hold this C curve. Now you're gonna extend one arm back behind you without shifting in the knees. Come back to the center and lift up, lower back down, reach and forward, rise up and curl back. Beautiful, keep going just like this. Think of twisting through the spine, inhaling in, exhale, inhale, twist, exhale, center, inhale, lift. Beautiful. Have a nice, soft, gentle quality about the movements, reaching through those fingertips, nice and smooth here. side. Really think about pulling the belly button, squeezing in, expanding through the arms right here. Try to make yourself stretching across like Gumby. Pretend someone's pulling your fingertips to either side. And now let's hold here in the center. Press the palms down towards the floor. And we're going to press all the way down like this. Little pumps. So press, 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 just like this. Holding this position. I know the core is working right here. 
and you're breathing. Pulse, 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 pulse. Good. Now out of breath right here. So you're gonna inhale two, three, four. Exhale two, three, four. Inhale two, three, four. Exhale two, three, four. Good. Maybe you're good right here. If you wanna add on, join me here by adding a knee up towards your chest. So pumping the arms, breathing. I know there's a lot going on here. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Good. One more time. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. And come on up. Beautiful. Okay, let's make our way to our back. And bring the legs up into a tabletop position right here. Good. So you're gonna start by curling up, chin in towards your chest. Reach the arms forward, extend one leg forward. Now you're going to keep the leg exactly where it is as you reach the arms overhead. And then you're gonna curl up higher, pull everything in back down to the floor. Good. So let's do that again. Other side, inhale, uh, exhale, curl up, chin to chest, extend the leg. Reach the arms up overhead as the leg stays out there. Reach forward and then pull everything back down to the floor. Let's do that again. Inhale, exhale, reach. Open everything up. Curl up even higher and then lower down. Beautiful. Keep moving like that. Nice and smooth and gentle. Taking your time to really Connect with your body, be aware of your positioning and your form. So it's not just about how many reps you can do, but how well can you do each rep. Curl up higher. Let's do one more each side. Beautiful, last time right here. Good, now go ahead and grab onto those thighs right here. I want you to curl up even higher. Find your positioning here. Draw the shoulders down towards your chest, chin in towards your chest, legs are at tabletop. Now we're gonna just extend the leg out, pump the arms, getting into a little bit of a hundred, but in a, in this position with the legs out, okay? So we're gonna just go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest, nice job. All right, let's go ahead and roll ourselves all the way up. And we're gonna come into a standing position here. So we're gonna pull our knees in towards our chest and we're just gonna march it out just like this. So we did a lot of great core work and I want you to keep going with the core. Okay, so keep it active, keep it moving. That's why I like to start class with core because then it tells your body, okay, yes, we're using these muscles for the rest of class, okay? Good. So just pulling them up towards our chest. Nice, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, take the legs about shoulder width apart. We're just gonna take a nice little squat right here and stand. Good, reach the arms up overhead and press. Reach and press. So I'm just really sitting my butt back and letting the chest fall forward slightly. Good, keeping the knees behind the toes. Good, two more, two, and one. Good, so now we're gonna take the knee up towards the chest. So you're gonna stand up knee, reach forward, 
press the knee up and forward. So same thing we just did, we're just adding on here with the knee to the chest. 10, nine, good, keep going. Nice, we're gonna stay right here, bring the hands behind the head, and let's come back to our marches. Knees up towards our chest, up and up, up and up. Keeping the back nice and tall, feel those back muscles working. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so you should definitely feel nice and warm. We're gonna come into a second position here. Arms are nice and wide, and let's lower down into our plie. And up, that's it, right there. Second position, knees are right over those toes, okay? So, legs are at outside of my shoulders, toes at about a 45 degree angle. I'm just gonna lower and lift. That's it, right here. 10 right here. at the bottom, reach those arms all the way up overhead, hold it, and now we're gonna pulse it down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it right here, reach those arms out to the side. Now lift the heels up, lower the heels down. You can do it up and lower, up, and lower, good. Eight more. Two, and one. Can you hold it right here? Bring the hands to the center. Can you balance on those toes? Good, hold, hold, hold for four. Three, two, one, beautiful. Now we're gonna go back into our plies. So just plie right here for 10. And up, squeeze the glutes up at the top. Nine, eight, seven. Feel like you're balancing a book on the top of your head. Hold it right here, bring those arms up overhead, little pulses down for 10, nine, eight, seven. Hold onto that core, five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up, beautiful. Now take those legs a little bit closer towards each other. Squeeze the glutes behind you. Pull up through that core, pull up through the thighs right here. Now if you need a little balance, go ahead and stand near a wall or a counter to help with your balance. So we're gonna lift up high onto the toes, squeeze the glutes the whole time. You gotta keep them squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good. And lift up for 10, nine. This is amazing for your balance. Five, four, and your ankle mobility. Three, two, one. Let's take the arms up overhead, balance here for five, four, shoulders down, three, two, one, lower the heels down. Let's do that again. Lift up for 10, nine, eight, seven, squeeze the glutes, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's take those arms right up overhead, balancing here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one. Don't mind the giant car behind us. Okay, shake it all out. Now let's go into another second position plie here. We're gonna go second position. This time we're gonna take tendu to the side. So tendu just means that the leg is pointed and the, um, and the leg is straight to the side. Okay, so you can do tendu side, tendu front, tendu back. We're gonna do tendu side, a la seconde. The only, I don't know French, but I know a few French words from ballet. Okay, plie, and then we're gonna go to the other side, reach up, and then close it up into first position. Squeeze that booty, all right? So reach, plie, reach, and close. Reach, plie, reach, and close, good. Arms are nice and soft, just floating in the wind. Just like the sun, you showed me which way I should go, yeah. Just like the wind, you pulled me up when I was low, oh yeah. This time I hope Four more, just like this, four. Do what you want, what you want, what you want with it, but don't give it back. Plie, up together. Good, so now we're gonna come into our first position. Now you've gotta really squeeze those glutes underneath you. Feel like the inner thighs are zipping up together. You're gonna take a plie where the knees just track right over the big toes. So make sure that the knees don't start to fall in. You wanna keep those knees out, squeeze the glutes. So we're just gonna take plie in our first position. Here we go for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Okay, so now we're going to come into our curtsy position here. So it's almost like a fourth position in ballet as well. So we're going to come up, come up onto our uh, fourth position here. You're going to bend the standing leg and you're gonna have the other leg behind you. So we're gonna take an arabesque lift, tap down, that's it right there, okay? So make sure that you're, the front leg is slightly bent and you're not collapsing in the arch at all. And you can have a bar near you if you need a little balance. All right, so we're gonna start just by lifting up here 10 times for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. So now we're going to take a little curtsy lunge and we're gonna stand all the way up. So we're gonna have that front leg straight. So a little plie here to lift. It takes a lot of coordination and balance, but I know you can do it. 10, up, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Now we're gonna take our curtsy lunge here. Just plie and up, that's it, right here. Just 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, now shift back into the back leg. Come into the first, just so that you can find it again, plie. You're going to point the front toe. Same foot that we had in front of us before. We're going to stay here in our first, turned out. Make sure that you're not collapsing in the arch there. And now we're going to lift the front leg up, just like that. Hold the core in nice and tight. Here we go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two. Hold it up there, whole little pulses up. Good for 10. Turn the leg out, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let that go. Okay. It's kind of challenging, right? To just hold your own body weight up, I always say. So you can do so much with your own body weight. You don't have to lift heavy weights to sculpt and tone your body. Okay, so let's go to the other side. Fourth position on the other side to start. Okay, and let's take a little bend in the front leg. Let's lift up the back leg. Here we go for 10, nine, pull up the core, eight, seven, lengthen through the spine, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, now we're gonna take that little curtsy to extend, 10, nine, eight, seven. I want you to think about expanding from your fingertips to your toes. Three, two, and one. Good, hold your curtsy lunge right here. Little pulses for 10, nine, eight. Feel the inner thighs zip together, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. So shift back. You can first start in your first position, plie. Make sure that you pull up the arches right here. Tondu, point the toe in front of you. Nice circular position with the arms. Lift, lower 10 times. Here we go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's hold it up there, a little pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. We're gonna wash that all the way again with our plies. It's a nice little plie right here. All the way up and all the way down. Just a few like this. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, turn those toes forward. Take a nice big inhale in and fold all the way down. Oh, beautiful work. Let all of that go. You did an amazing job. Let's end here with a few stretches. So let's come onto our backs. And you're going to have the left leg flat down on the floor and the other leg is going to come up straight to the sky. Now you can either hold onto the thigh or you can hold a little bit higher up onto the ankle, whatever you can do here. But now once you're here, I want you to point and flex the toe. We would always do this in ballet to really help open up the foot, the bottom of the foot, mobilize the ankle. So just point and flex the toe right here. Good. And then if you feel like you want a little more, you can always extend the bottom leg and take the stretch a little bit deeper. And now let's just hold. You don't have to point and flex. Just hold the stretch and breathe. Just feel your body melt into the floor. Give yourself over to gravity, surrendering into the stretch feeling proud of the work you just did, knowing that every day that you show up for yourself is a day that you grow and become more and more of your best version of you. Good, now let's switch legs. So place the foot on the ground. 
You can start with the hand underneath the thigh and then you can gradually make your way all the way up. Let's point and flex the toe here. Oh, that feels really good, especially if you wear big clunky shoes or heels. This is gonna feel really, really good. To allow your breath to get deeper and deeper. And the deeper you breathe, the more you release, and then the more you release, the deeper you breathe. Good, and then extend that bottom leg when you feel ready, and then just hold and find stillness in the stretch. more stretch together take that foot and you're gonna flex it over the other knee pull that knee in towards your chest oh, this feels really good too <laughs> just feel those outer hips release this is really good for your low back as well I know we get really tight there and just connect with this inner peace this stillness within you that's always here and available to you. And I try to make a commitment of connecting with this inner peace at least once a day. Let's go ahead and switch it up. Because this inner peace that you connect with is always here for us and it reminds us of what's available, right? When you live from a place of inner peace, of stillness, of surrender, you become non-reactive, you become more purposeful, more intentional. And I make a point to connect with that inner peace just once a day to remind me of really what life is all about, inner peace. One more big deep breath in and release. And roll yourself up. You did an amazing job today. I'm so proud of you for being here, showing up. Go ahead and leave me a comment below. Let me know how this was for you. What else you want to see from me? Be sure to subscribe to my channel so I can keep making workouts for you. And do me a huge favor. Share my channel with a friend or family member that really helps me out to continue growing our channel and community. Okay, love you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.